back in my channel today hope with god grace you are doing well and great at your places and i'm hoping that you like my day one video on the service now scripting introduction foundation and the overview today i atul guru again come back with another topic in the same series of the scripting called the glide record and the glide class service now bifurcate the glide class in the two more section called the client side and the server side so let's start for the today's session before i go for the glide record or the glide class let understand the meaning of the glide here as the dictionary meaning says move with the smoothness something is like sliding kind of things it means these two kind of a, i can say classes these two kind of a apis these two kind of a function these two kind of a methods anything i am i'm just putting a number of terms here just to be give you the understanding here means by using these ways you can do your work very easily a smooth way that is that is the reason they are called that as a glide record and the glide class by using the glide record you can access your tables with the smoothness of the glide you can access your records with the smoothness of the class you can access the different parameters users form records etc so let's start the today's session with the glide record and the glide class let me come back on my favorite place my favorite book so in today's topic we are going to be cover mainly these three parts how to use service now expose javascript api so is you remember that in the first class in the last session what we discussed that javascript is the base for service now for maximum coding maximum scripting has been done in the javascript so we are going to be discuss that what javascript's api service now giving to us we are not going to be write a big codes we are small writing the small codes but that has been bifurcated in the glide record format what are the classes you can use for the client side what are the classes you can use from the server side so if i say that these javascript is basically coming from the c++ that is a oops concept object oriented concepts are there from which we are be getting the class and the object things so let's start the discussion on the more de detailed part so what service now say that you can use the javascript's api to write your scripts as you want definitely it will save your time when why i'm saying it is a javascript apis because we are just calling the function or the methods here in the background a full fledged code has been written which go in the back database which go in the scripting area which go in the coding area put done the queries done the queries and bring the result for us that is the meaning of the apis here okay application interfaces i can say uh, um, uh, for the apis here okay so there are the number of different classes and the objects available for the developer to do the coding part now when when i say that atul what do you mean by the object of the classes so like if i want to access incident table in script that become a object for me okay now in the same manner we will discuss the few more things in the upcoming part so now if i say that what is the glide record so glide record is the first and the basic javascript api class which is given by service now and it has been widely used in the coding part so it says that it's a glide record is a class which extremely handy and will fast become a staple to most scripting glide record is a way to finding and counting the records in the service which means if you want to know that how many records are available in incident table we use the glide record here if i want to count it i want to find out that how many incidents are p1 how many incidents are p2 then we use the glide record class to access that part so now if i say that car is one of the object and the class is the vehicle so if i bifurcate like this 
so on the major part on the on the on the top level vehicle is a class for me under that i have a car as a object and every car has some attributes some fields and on the car we can do some calculation like what is the mileage what is the speed what is the heating area what is the non heating area how much the ac works so all these things we calculate on that part so to do the things in the service now we use the glide record as a major term here and how this glide record works specifically what is the syntax here because now being a functional consultant nobody is going to be ask me to be write a Uh, syntax but people ask me in the interview that what do you mean by the word glide record and i think that it is important to be discuss here so as per the service now it say that when you want to be call any object we use the glide record as a class and we put the table name as a object so you can see here i put the table name as a object okay so new glide record table name it will be always in the single quotes either one word table either two words table it doesn't matter but it should be in the single quote so like incident or if you want to call change underscore request then also it should be in the single quote only so always remember that it is in the single quote so how it's work specifically war glad record is equal to new glad record incident what i am doing via this particular concept this particular line here so in this case what i'm saying i am asking to service now i am asking javascript's api which is the class having the glide record go to the go to the database find out the incident table and put everything in the glide record as a variable when i say everything means all the records of the incident will be kept here now in the glide record as a variable name so don't be confused that atul is glide record glide record both are same no this is a variable name you can put your name as well you can put gr you can put ab you can cd anything you can put but this is a class which you cannot change it so this is a glide record is the one of the class first class which we are discussing now so how it's work actually now if i want to know about my incident table then i can do like this war glide record is equal to new glide record incident i am calling the incident table as a object remember vehicle is my class car is my object so it is car i am talking here and then they put glide record dot query it means now i am putting in the incident table i am putting a query that guys or i sorry i can say in the in the incident table i am putting a query go back in the database and find out the records for me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and while until i get something in the to be done here so glide dot next these are the functions which are be similar to the to the to, a, to the uh, c concepts or c++ concepts or the java concepts dot next function dot um, Uh, uh what i can say next or next there with bracket without bracket next function is there so you can use that functions very easily in that part okay we will we will do some kind of a practical as well here don't worry if you want to be see let me show you something here let me copy this record here and let me go to my instance and let me open some business rule here keep taking time yep and i go to the advance just me click on the advance so i can go here like this and i can let me copy paste here so like this so what i am doing i am calling my this thing so now if you see that if i go here it's becoming underlined so you can click on the on the control and you can click on the right key it will be open for you here or maybe you can what i can say you can do with the shift as well i guess no it's not be working here i'll give the shortcut for this that how this this function or this records can be opened easily in in that area yep it's it's sorry it's alt and then put the right click or you can double click as well then it will be open the this particular function or this particular class in the another window it is taking time as of now so let come back here for the time being so now what i am doing i am calling the incident as a object and running a query on the top and saying that until i get the next next record do this thing and 
Now the second part in this, what we're going to be do because when I get my object, let's say I run this query in the database. So when I say in the database means I'm talking about the business tools here specifically. When I run this query in the database, it go in the database, search for the incident table, bring the all records from the incident table and it start going, showing me the next, 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 next. Now I want that I want only those incident which risk is or sorry which priority is one two three or four so this is ka this is called the glide record query is another class we can see here so how it's work variable dot add query field name operator and the value to be compare like when we say in, if if i go in the list view let me open this incident okay and i click on the all here and if I go here in the funnel icon, I put like priority is one. So what it doing? I click on the run. What it doing actually? It taking the object of the incident table, running a query in the background and checking where this condition has been met. Because maybe in, in my instance, there's a no, uh, what I can say, P1 or P2 in P1 incident available. Let me check something more here so that we can see this part. Priority is 2. So, how this run actually? This run via this scripting part only. Now, here I am not writing any script because it is already given by service now to me. But in practical, in actual thing, if you want to see, you can search here on the this part and you can see that how many scripts are running here. You can see what are the things it has been running here. Server taking this time, this time, this time and you can find out that what scripts are there. Own load functions are there. So you can find that part. Okay, so by this way you can easily find out that how much time it is taking and what is the script is running on that part. This is the one way. Now, how this be running? This is running via this particular uh, a query I can say now what this book says that if like, let's say I'm putting like this thing war glide record new glide record problem I want I want to know that how many priority one problems are there so I am putting priority and one remember this is the value I am putting I'm not putting label I'm not putting name and it is not recommended if you see if you see in the in the incident table let me open this if I open this incident record and because I have some uh, what I can say async utility label so you can see state is one they are not using as a new or uh, state they are using as a one here so it means it is saying find out the records where priority is one now the question come Atul you told in the in the last page that if I'm putting a query I should put the operator as well but in this particular place there is a no operator correct guys so by default if you are not putting any operator it will be considered as a equal value so it's saying go to this particular part and now let, let's try to do this thing a little bit on on this part let's copy this and let's create some record like this here or maybe i can say uh, this one we can make it as a comment if you remember that we have a shortcut here okay so like this add dot query glide record and query you can do it here okay sorry it's g l i d d e r e c o r d dot right so now you can see why because i am using this as a function now if you notice something here if i put the record like this it is not giving me any option because you are using the variable name and that should be and that should be the name which is actually is exists so you should put like this glide record and you put the dot you can put add query so nothing to be worried you you just know that what exactly you are looking for and service now give you automatically so these are the methods they are be giving you 
this is the class i'm saying glide record is a is a java api class this is the object and these are the methods here so what we're saying i say add query and it say what query you want to be i want to be know that priority is remember this is my name where field name not the label here if, if i if i can show you something here like this priority i'm talking about this one that is an if you're working as a developer better you install sorry better you put the sn utility plugin in your in your uh, browser so that you can access the name label or the background backend value very quickly and it will be you can be use that in your scripting part so this is the way that i'm doing this this part so this is a, another part in the glide record now what this says or what i says that if you want to be update something in that part like if i say or maybe i can say i want to get a record where risk value is 1 or 2 so how it work it work like this so i'm saying there is a variable called or query and i'm putting the add query risk 1 similar this thing what we done now sorry here i can say this one which we done now and if you want to put a or query then you can put with the variable name dot add or condition so what is my variable name my variable name is i have to be put one variable to capture this risk and where i'm putting the priority here i'm putting the priority in the glide record let me try to do g l i d e r e c o r d dot what is the name dot add or sorry i guess it's not working for me add query glide record this okay so i'm i'm taking i'm sorry i'm i'm i need to be captured this particular thing in one of the variables so let's say i'm putting it as a where atul is equal to like this okay then i can say atul dot add or condition what i'm doing here specifically if i want to be show you what i'm saying first of all capture the risk value one in one of the variable and on the top of that variable put another condition called the risk two like the same thing i can do in the list view if i go here let me close these windows not required like this if i go back here and i put my funnel icon like this or priority is three and click on the run so how this is be running now how this is be coming it is using the same thing only it putting the or condition you can put and condition as if you if you notice here if i go back on the this part and instead of this if i put atul dot and condition as well and risk this or risk this so now i'm sure that you are able to understand that when you put very simple query on the on the list view search how it's be working in the background part so that is the and put the add glide dot query means go back into the database and find out one by one by one by one all records from the database to the and show me in the front end part that is another thing or you can use like a operator like this or condition or equal condition risk or or equal to less than two why two because if you remember that in 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 our form here if you see we are showing this as a value here if i open this record just for the sample purpose so now if you see this two one one two like this i'm comparing this value by this way that is the reason service now recommends sometime don't use the name or the label because you get confused better use the value here in the upcoming in the next next page or the next to next page specifically we're going to be discuss about the sys id as well okay and then under this particular brackets you can write your code until you get your complete answer maybe you can put set value get value so like this what they are saying so they say run this query actually I, I i guess i run this query only that is then every p1 become p2 so like let's copy this query here okay and i'll say or uh, because i i run this query from the fixed script as well there is a concept in the service now that is called the fixed script It means if you want to fix something you can do it easily so i have one query here lng or maybe you can use the 
in that particular place as well so let me do like this control v let me save this okay what i'm saying put urgency as a 2 and convert the urgency as a 1 here and run the fix script if you want to proceed you can proceed here it's done now so now i'm talking about the urgency one so yeah you can go ahead and you can put the things and now if i refresh it all to one become so it will become one now Oops, it's not working if it's not be running properly as of now okay so by this way you can you can do the glide records update here easily at your side okay now if i come to the next portion here in the same sequence now if you want to delete it so two methods given by service now for delete let's say i want to delete the record where category is network but those records be in the incident table so how you can do run the query get the record next and put the delete record or service now say you can use the delete multiple what's the difference in these two it will delete one by one by one by one and show you one record deleted one record deleted one record deleted it will just complete delete and say this many records has been deleted what service now recommend or what this book recommend never use this method in a one first place use this method so that you can see that okay the script is working fine or not and it's record and it's delete, deleting the records or not if you're comfortable then put the delete multiple and it will delete the multiple records in a in a one go so that was the first topic we want to be we want to be discussed in today's uh, um, uh, session now the next part come that what are the server side classes what are the server side remember that we have two type of scripts uh, client side or the server side and to call them to use them there's a two different type of classes given by service now one is the server side glide class server side uh, client uh, servers sorry uh, glide uh, client side glide class both things are different you cannot use the same class in the vice versa area it means you cannot use server side class into the client side or client side you cannot use in the server side okay and for this we are be using our mainly either we are using the business tool or the client scripts here to be sh show you the demo here so now what are the server side class it means if you want to fetch any record from the database then we use the server side classes here so number one which has been given by service now is called the glide system number first class which is given by which which is given by service now in the sequence of the glide class called the glide system and it is a server side class i can say what it do it says if you want to fetch the record from the user's perspective if you want to know the user record we use the glide system in short it is called the gs and how it's used let me go to the our our uh, this place only i can say it is gone the uh, yes here so let me do one thing let me make it as a commenting section here okay and now i want to be used the place how i can get the user id so what i'm saying it's saying var user id is equal to and you have to be use a gs as a class name here gs dot get user id is the method so i can put gs dot and you can see the methods available get user id and it will be give the user id that who is login here but remember one thing if you are putting the user id it means you are talking about the sys id there's a no there's a there's a concept is a user id login ids are there but when i talking this function i'm specifically talking about the user id so you can see here this put the login in user sys id in the user id variable it's not putting like if i log in as a my user id is atul grover no it will bring my my sys id and will put in this variable here so that if you want to know that i want if 
logged in user is having the id rule only then he can do this action so via using the sys id i can get comparison and i can make it working here so like this if you have a user if if you want to use a gs dot so you have the multiple functions here so like i can see who is where user id or maybe say i can say user name is equal to gs dot what you want first name sorry what is the name say get sorry it's gs dot what i'm doing here sorry yeah so you can put it here like so like this you can put the things here get username user id user session session id get property get message anything you want to do you can do on the particular area easily you can get the full name email location id manager id company ID. again the where the id is mentioned we are talking about the sys id specifically so don't be confused that atul user id means that which user has been logged in so what i'm saying here if if i come back here and i go to my user admin open here when i run this query and i say i am bringing the emas sys id in the variable called the user id and then i can use that sys id to do any kind of a comparison any kind of a calculation any kind of a access part now the second part we have a query from the customer atul why this customer is not able to see that record so we have another function or i can i can say the method called the has rule if a user has this rule only then he can see the message so what method they are saying it's saying gs dot has rule so let me come back here and we'll discuss gs dot has rule generally this query has been used or run when you log in logged in the system as soon as you logged in the things you are able to see here the navigator you are able to see here if i see so i am a admin so i can you see a lot of things if i put if if in this query if i put that gs dot has rule admin then it will able to see all the options in the navigator part so this is the another method i can say you can use to build up your query here okay then if you want the sometime you see some messages that i want to be update a record but not able to uh, not able to update i'm getting some error message or the info message this is this is question has been come in the cs exam that what is the difference between info and the error message info message is always in the nice blue box and error is always in the red box remember if there's a blue message you can still proceed to the next phase next place next state as, as well but if it is an error message you cannot proceed until as you resolve that particular error so how it work it work like this if you want to display any message here gs dot add error message add information you don't need to be worried that atul from where the red color is coming because this is a method and you can check this method easily and do your work okay so this the background code has been written here you have to just put the methods here hello welcome okay i am not saving anything at point of time i i don't know me run this this uh, business will anywhere i want to just show that how this methods actually work here so error message information you can put when you record the save it show the record said successful that is a info info message if you are not able to move the uh, the state of a record you are getting an error that something is mandatory then you can use the add error message but again adding more error message more info message also create a bad user experience you have to be make sure that what are required for user to show only those messages you have to be displayed here now if i come to the next part that is saying that logging part so i am not a developer but i am sure that the developer use this method very very commonly i let's say i am i am going in a in a restaurant or i am going in a party in a wedding a wedding ceremony how i know or that or how many friends i have here if i say on i if i go to the stage and say hey guys i am here now people know okay atul is also there 
then people can identify the, that okay who is atul here so to do this part to logging that part that okay is my script is working fine or not developer use this particular method gs dot log and you can put your specific method or message here sorry how it's work it's work like this gs dot log sorry it's not big there so gs dot log you can put it very easily in that part and you can put your specific method sorry message as well which says that if you want to differentiate your scripting uh logs with the your friends or your teammates scripting logs better you put your specific name here someone i saw some some code where where developer put their phone number as a, as a separate one someone put their date of birth someone put their their uh, their passwords kind of thing someone put some some different kind of wordings here so that nobody can recognize and they can recognize that what is the code they have written and what error they are be getting here so this is from the server side perspective and the next part which is next class which is given by service now is called the glide date and time because we need to be work on the dates and the time in service now i want to be see that how many incident has been logged within the or the last 30 days how you can do if i want to do like this let me come here and go to here and let me put a query here i put and created relative before 30 days from now what i'm doing here i'm doing a query on the date time time that is a created is a date for me date format and if i run this it will show me the results that how many incident has been created in the last 30 days you can see it's using the javascript gs dot days ago it's it's clear for me all right so now what i want to be do like this so we have a separate class available here that is called the glide date and time you can use this particular you can use this particular function or you can use this particular class to display the error messages maybe you can use this thing in your notification you can use this in the schedule jobs as well so multiple things or uh, multiple function has been given by service now methods been given by service now glide duty new glide date and time add local day time one it means you are adding 24 day 24 hours in a particular day and time minus one you are reducing minus 24 hours from that particular part so so now you can understand here very easily gs dot sorry gs colon uh, sorry javascript colon gs dot date i will try this part do we can we write it something here if if required let go here and write gs dot days ago c so easy the the thing which you are doing from the drop and down is is be done by service now via the this gs dates ago that is gs again that is the glide system they are calling here which we discussed in the in the uh, in the um, um, previous one okay so date and time you can you can use it very easily nothing much to be discuss more here the next one that is called the glide element here element means it is it is the shortest one i guess say in 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 service now not having a lot of functions here but sometime it has been used by the developers to make their work little more easy in that case and it's work to detect when the changes has been happen in that field i want to know when the last name of a user has been updated that you can do via the glide element because it's saying detecting changes to a field i'm not saying that i'm 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 talking about the changes about a record no i'm talking about changes to a field i want to know that when the last action has been taken on the state number 7 of a incident so what i can say is current dot state dot change to 7 okay so it is a smaller one we can discuss more in the in the uh, next upcoming chapters here you can use the can create can read and can write if current dot create let's see if it is it work or not it's a ui action let put current dot it will work for us so current can read means if 
the current logged in user can read this part then show this message you are welcome in the world of service now you can write the code you can read the codes as well so you can use these classes or the functions easily in the service now scripting part now the last one which is be in the in the bucket is called the aggregate when you want to do some kind of a calculation aggregate as the, as the name indicates a mathematic function 100% mathematic function i want to know that how many incidents are there then i use the add dot aggregate okay if count is less than 5 then say sorry we cannot accept this application if count is more than 5 then you can say yes we are happy to accept so this thing work as soon as it go to the incident table and get the count directly can you can use a sum as well you can put the max as well min as well average as well again these are the mathematical function you can use easily but the class which i'm going to be use is called the glide aggregate here okay hope it is it is clear to you now let come to the client side part lot of things has been done on the server side we are done with the data data databases definitely in the upcoming classes we are going to be do little more deep dive on the server side now what is the client side as we discussed in the last session as well that client side means something which has been done on the user form level and to do this part we are be using our client scripts now okay so let me open that client scripts here okay let me open the client script here so now we have a client script which has a majorly four action we will discuss in depth the types are the four types specifically on cell edit on change on load on submit we will discuss in detail we are not going to be discuss now but what i want to show you from from the session perspective that what are the glide class sorry what are the glide classes for the client side part now if you want to do any action if you want to do any operation on the form level where user is also able to see then you have to be use the first ap java exposed ap is called the glide form or g underscore form if you want to get the user data you have to be use the server side scripts you have to be use the server side class but if you want to see something on the form level that i want to see these many fields or i want to see the records of like this for things on the form level sorry on the on the client side part so i can use the g underscore form as a class here so now i'll show you something here basically g form or the uh, g underscore form we use to get or to set the value like i want get the value from the from the form level and change it to the um number 5 or number 6 so like this i am saying variable state value g underscore form dot get value state that it means go to the glide record pick up the object bring the things for me and show it here like this so if i copy it here like this, it will work so what will we do when i run this client script okay maybe i can i want to be use this client script on the list view only then it will do what it will do it will go to the database find out the state and it will set the value to the state as a 6 so what it's saying make sure you use the name rather than the label it means this thing again again service not this book saying that never ever use the label always use the name only like if i say new is the state which is available in all the uh, i can say attributes so if i show you something here like this choices now if you see here the choices are like this i put the name as a new now if you see new is the label element is a state and the value is the 1 minus 5 so what this says always use the name not the label in your query otherwise because one user or sorry, two user have a same name but this is id will be different so something that concept i am talking here it says 
get the value method essentially put the value in the field variable for you then allow you to use that variable to check the data or pass the parameter if the state is on hold only then show this thing on the form level you can do these things the the lot of things you can do from the client from the ui policy as well but still we are using the scripting part to make our work little easy which is not recommended actually okay so like this you can put get value set value you can do the mandatory this is what i'm saying here you can do the mandatory via the ui policy but i am a scripting lover i want to do it via only uh via only scripting part so i will using the client side script and that is a set method so how it's work let me show you g underscore form dot same thing that was a glide record that was a glide system that was a glide aggregate that was a glide uh, uh what i can say uh, system but here g underscore form and then you can do this thing so i want let's say mandatory set mandatory set disable layoff read only section display set value set visible so these things we can use and to do this part so let's say i i am a user who has a idle rule and there's another user who don't have a idle rule we open the incident form i can see the section but other person cannot see the section how it's becoming it will run the background the query which is we done earlier that is get the has rule part if has a rule then display the set the section displayed true or false you can put it here so this is the way that you can do the things from the this part so like get get mandatory set display set visible kind of things you can use it in your day to day routine here okay so these are the few things which has been given by service now from the client side perspective then the other part is that user perspective if you want to do any operation on the user attribute you want to be display like like if i say i want as soon as a user logged in he should get a message here hello mr x y z or the user name how it's be coming this is coming from the client side scripts only and what the method they are using they are using the g underscore user so if i come here g underscore user dot in the server side we have a get uh, user id gs glide system user id get user id we are using here we are using the g underscore user so now i can get the first name of a user i can get the second name of the user i can get anything or the given attributes of a user here so like this i can do these things okay so this is the this is the main purpose of the glide user here if you are putting the user id again you are putting the sys id you are getting the sys id for that particular user okay so let's come to the next part okay then you can say get user id full name and you can display the message so like in the server side we are using the get add error message get info message here we are using the alert one so like this if i say when when we are doing the client side scripts then we will do this practical in a in a more depth manner to reach up to that point let's understand the classes or the this part first so like like this i can say what this will do it will get the logged in user full name from the user table and show me a message which say the logged in user is and put the name like admin here so this is the another class which have to be which we can use for the doing the functionality or some operation on the user part and now it has a has a role as well this is from the front end side from the client side contain roles has role from the server side as well we can we can do it is for the gs score user that was from the gs underscore part where we are using that thing you can use if loop while loop anything you want to be used you can use it very easily now there's a few more classes given by service now so like you can call glide record in the another glide record as well so like this what they're doing they're calling a glide record called the incident address object and they saying where the priority is 1 what they do create a new problem record it's saying they are calling the problem record as a problems 
a table as a object and they are saying copy the script, copy the description from the incident record so now what you see getting the priority one and what i am doing incident dot cmdb it means in this in this object where the priority is one i am saying in that particular variable find out the cmdb underscore ci and put into the problem record short description should be good as short description then put the insert in the insert and problem id new insert record and incident updated in short what it's doing as a part that it is creating the problem records where the incident priority is one and bringing the incident ci short description into the problem ci and the short description so the purpose of boy this exercise is that to show that we have a we are calling two glide records one in the another one so that is also possible that is also can be done but again i recommend don't use this nested parts very frequently otherwise the database or the query will be become heavy to update the things okay now the next one which basically we almost is on the closing part of that is now you can use a something on the glide record for the sys id so don't worry glide record is common for the both for the server and the client side now it is up to you that where you want to be use it okay let me see if anything has been left for that part no so we are almost done here yep so when we start with our client side scripting then i will show you so now we have a like i was saying that own load we have is new record set the value category so like when i say that i am sending a email to service now a incident has been created and the value has been set the the category value has been set as the inquiry how you can do it via set value here or you can do via inbound action as well okay so this is what we want to be discuss here guys so hope you like today's session i try to be explain as much as i have knowledge with me in case you find something wrong please 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 mention in the comment window i will try to be rectify in the upcoming sessions till the time take care guys have a nice day we'll come back again with some other video bye bye